Hey guys, um, this video is going to be shorter than most of the other ones because it's a very serious topic. So, um, by now, if you haven't heard, um, Nintendo President and CEO Satoru Iwata uh, has passed away. He passed away on July 11th. News sources confirmed his death on July 12th. And many gamers were sad. Many people in the gaming community, many gamers in general, they just felt this tremendous loss from the gaming world. Satoru Iwata really did a lot for the industry. I didn't know him personally. I didn't really uh, read up on what he's actually done in Nintendo, but I mean, a whole lot, but I've learned that he's done a lot for the company. And, um, wow, even even Stan Lee on Facebook, even he, the, yes, the Marvel Stan, Marvel comic book Stan Lee, he, um, he even reported on Satoru Iwata's death, you know, because he realized what happiness and joy he brought to the world. Satoru Iwata brought to the world through video games, and Stanley brought it through comic books, and I guess they share a common way of bringing wonder and joy to the world. But anyway, um... Sorry, that's my email. But anyway, it's it's hard. You know, this is hard to do this because Mr. Wada did a lot for Nintendo, and Nintendo, because partly because of him, there were other people involved too, but a good part of it was. Um, because of him and and the rest too but um, Mr. Iwata he was involved with a lot of great Nintendo games and Nintendo's games are usually fantastic I know I, I haven't agreed with some of what he's done at Nintendo lately but he's done a lot of great things he even had this um I think Q&A session called um, Iwata asks where he asks his fans um, what they can do to improve their what Nintendo can do to improve their games and what you know what they want to see next like what franchises Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid, Zelda, uh, Kirby <laughs> All Nintendo franchises, although I don't, I don't think Donkey Kong and Mario started that way. I think they were just, like, from arcade machines, and I think Nintendo bought the rights. I don't know exactly. I haven't done my research on that, but anyway. I just feel that for everything Satoru Iwata has done, despite, despite his um, sketchy business practices, they weren't criminal, they were just you know, they didn't sit in well with, you know, us in the gaming community, you know, they had their own YouTube program, or I think they still do, where they, uh, they will only let you do videos on Nintendo if you sign up for their program, uh, they delete mods if, they delete mods of their creations, if they're made in some ways Nintendo is out of touch but there are some things they're doing right because even with companies that are more in touch with the industry they've come and gone and well Nintendo still one of the big three and not really going anywhere anytime soon they're profitable I mean man they got they're gonna they're gonna have rides at Universal theme park and you know, it's just sad that Mr. Iwata won't get to see that. Um, 
But one thing happened the day after he died. Um, the day after he died, a rainbow appeared over Nintendo headquarters. And a lot of people thought that Satoru Iwata was there. And me included, I, I still think that was him. Letting the people on Nintendo know he's okay and he's going to a better place. And <laughs> some people online said that he's going up Rainbow Road. And, you know, to rest in peace. And if you don't know, Rainbow Road is a course in Mario Kart. And it's one of the more popular courses, I think. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, just... Let, I guess it just lets you know that he's okay and he's he's going to heaven. And that, that's a good thing. Because even with his business practices, I don't think he has... I don't think he had any bad intent in his heart. I promise that. I, I promise you with all my heart, I don't think he had any bad intent at all. Even with some of the business practices he did. He did, he did just as much good, if not more for the gaming industry and Nintendo than he did bad. The good definitely outweighs the bad in this case. I'm sorry, I can't measure my hands right now, but anyway. I just want to pay my respects to Mr. Iwata. I know I'm late to the party, but better late than never. And um, if Nintendo hasn't done so, I'm hoping they can um, rest it. You know, just uh, grieve and remember Mr. Iwata. I think they've actually done that already because they made more videos on their channel on YouTube. But it's just, like I said, it's sad to see that Mr. Iwata's gone. And I pay respects to his friends and family, the people at Nintendo. Shigeru Miyamoto, before I go, I just want to say Shigeru Miyamoto... Satoru Iwata was his mentor, and Shigeru Miyamoto was the creator of a lot of well-known Nintendo franchises, like I said, Mario, uh, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, uh, Kirby, Metroid, Zelda. Yeah, Shigeru Miyamoto created a lot, and Satoru Iwata was his mentor. And that's just another great loss, so... <laughs> My condolences go out to him, too. Alright, guys, um, I think I'm going to end this video here. I just wanted to pay my respects to Mr. Wada, and I'm glad to see that he's uh, going to be okay in heaven, or based on what we've seen in the photo that appeared over Nintendo headquarters. I just hope he's doing all right, and I hope the front, that hope that Mr. Wada's friends and family and co-workers can remember him for the great man that he was. Thanks.